What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage. And in today's video, got some RC news for you. So Tamiya lately has been releasing some things, man. Uh, they just released the GR, uh, the GR A6, <laughs> the FRS body, um, a Cosworth, well, not really the Cosworth, but the uh, Escort RS. Um, I'll try to put pictures up <laughs> of what they uh, had just released. But now they are releasing the tracks that came on the Land Freighter, right? That's what it's called? Yeah, the Land Freighter quad track. Sorry, guys. So these quad tracks that come on this chassis here, uh, they are going to be available to purchase for different Tamiya vehicles. Uh, they're going to be compatible with, come on. Um, what's going on here? There we go. So they're going to be compatible with a couple chassis. Uh, they're going to be compatible with the TTO2, the CC01. Uh, so this TTO2 with the Star 1, uh, separately sold items, 503, 5.4, uh, 16-turn, 17-turn pinion gear, and 5.4114 CR2 motor, 35-turn, are required when using the TTO2 chassis car. Uh, it will work on the CC01, the CC02, the GF01, CBTR, the G601TR, and that's star 2 right there. Uh, when using G6 chassis cars, central and rear axles can be combined with one track unit. And uh, the WR02CB chassis. Uh, and again, that's star three. Please note that using this set on the rear of the WR2 chassis cars will exhibit understeer. So for anybody that wants to put tracks on their TTO2 or the uh, CC01, CC02, and the GF01, hey, to me is going to be uh, coming out with these. Uh, I believe that they are going to be coming out this fall. Um, there's no image here. On their page but the tracks that they are going to be releasing are basically these tracks right here uh, so this fall they should be coming out now in team associated they are releasing a 28 128 scale drag car so for a grand total of 59.99 uh, they're at a stock that should be expected late August. Uh, you can go onto their website, uh, as you guys can see here, click that notify me when it's in stock. And once it's in stock, Team Associated will notify you when, uh, when they have them available. So let's go over some fundamentals about this thing. So everything included in the box, just charge and go. So basically, it's going to bring a battery. Guaranteed, it's not going to be a LiPo. Uh, you're going to get batteries for the receiver or for the radio and ESC and everything is all going to be included. It's, well, here you go. Uh, when the dr 28 integrated light bulb battery, so I am mistaken, it is going to be coming out with a light bulb battery. Um, but you can also, what it says right here is... When the dr 28 integrated LiPo battery becomes discharged, the convenient built-in transmitter charger makes it easy to get back to full power and ready to run in less than an hour. A built-in rechargeable LiPo battery and four AA's are included, uh, making the car ready to go right out of the box. So right out of the box, you get this thing. You're going to be able to basically charge up the batteries, take it out, uh, do some racing, once the light bulb is close to dying or it's dead, you're going to be able to charge it up right to the uh, transmitter there. Come on. <laughs> there we go. So you're going to be able to charge it up to the remote. Let me make this picture a little bit bigger for you guys. And uh, hey, in an, like I said, within an hour, you're going to be able to put this thing back on the road 
and go ahead for a uh, for another run, which is kind of convenient. Uh, a lot of people, what they'll wind up doing is instead of doing that, they'll end up getting another battery and, uh, you know, just, just use another battery for it. So when that battery dies, change out the battery and get back going again. Uh, the specs, power source, electric, like we all know, on road, body style, other, scale size 128, ready to run. Length is 176 millimeters. 100, uh, I'm sorry, width is 91 millimeters, wheelbase 100 millimeters. It weighs a total of 3.1 pounds. The internal gear ratio is 2.60 to 1, and of course, two wheel drive, so it's going to be rear wheel drive. And uh, yeah, so for 60 bucks when it comes out, it should be coming out in late August. I'm going to wait for this thing to come out and hey, I have a small, I have a pretty small driveway that I might be able to uh, get this thing and rip around here in my driveway. So that'll be kind of fun. Um, G made is coming out with the GS 2 F T S kit. So I was doing a little reviewing on this thing. You can get this for a total of $349.99. And um, let's see what is gonna be coming included with it. I mean, for a kit, usually the kits do not come with motors, ESCs, servos, and all that good stuff. For $349.99, I mean, when the Axial 2, um, I think it was the 2, yeah, the Axial 2 kit came out, for $250, $249, you were able to get that $349.99. It's, you know, a little pricey, but I'm going more for the, I'm saying a little pricey, but uh, it's also more towards the cheaper way that I'm going, I guess, the cheaper side. So $349.99, it's a pretty good price, um, but this is what the, I don't believe it comes with the, I don't believe it comes with the body. I think it's just a chassis. So the assembly kit, uh, 110 scale, we all know four wheel drive, overdrive. It apparently is going to have a two speed transmission, link suspension, inner fenders, uh, TTR system. We'll find out what that means. All right, so equipment needed not included so it does not bring a radio no servo no esc no motor no battery no receiver so you are going to have to get that when you want to get this bad boy um it here it does not say shown with custom painted body included body is clear so it does come with a body so would this body be the body that's coming with the chassis might be we'll get to that take a look at the chassis here so the chassis does bring the inner fenders that you guys see here which is kind of cool because i ended up getting the red cat um kit the gen 8 i'm sorry i ended up getting the red cat gen 8 kit and it didn't bring the fenders but for this one to bring the fenders it's starting to look up those tires look really beefy too man uh the frame here you guys it's a steel ladder frame uh this is a, it's a c channel okay c channel see right there steel ladder frame um also steel parts are black powder coated finished to prevent rust nice touch there so as you guys can see here this picture um as you guys can see here in this picture, this red right here, that's a C-channel chassis, uh, which Axial has always used. Um, I remember when I got my first Axial SCX-10, they had a C-chassis, uh, C-channel chassis. So here you see they got the inner fenders. Um, as it looks like the motor is actually mounted in the front right over the axles. That's a very nice touch. Uh, it's going to give it more of the, uh, it should give it more of the scale look for body wise to have that motor uh, right underneath the hood there. So that way, if you get, if anybody gets a body that you have a full interior, 
that might end up helping. Uh, let's keep going here. So this was the other thing that I saw was that it has an adjustable wheelbase. And the adjustable wheelbase, I don't know if it's on the front also, but it's just, it looks like it's just on the rear. Uh, the GSO2F chassis allows three types of easy adjustment of wheelbase convert kit to use any type of 313 and 324 millimeter custom bodies. Optional link kits are sold separately. So there you have it. Um, if it's three way, more than likely you're going to be able to. Looks like, I mean, on this picture here, it really just looks like at the back that you're going to be, that probably has three settings in the back that you can uh, move the rear wheels back. Um, here's what the uh, front weight balance. Uh, the weight balance design is placed, blah, blah, blah. Here is a front mounted motor. Uh, so you're able to put a 540 or a 550 uh, motor with cooling fan option so you'll be able to put your 540 550 motor in the front and right up here you'll be able to put your coin fan let's keep going looking at this thing so it looks like you have multiple battery locations so you can mount the battery here in the front or you can change all this around and mount the battery in the back it looks like this is a servo here for your two-speed transmission you can do your ESC on either side and the uh, receiver right, I mean the uh, receiver right there on the other fender. So it looks like you have multiple um, widths for the battery pack. Uh, so if you got a shorty pack, you can shorten it up. If you got the standard pack, you can lengthen the, um, you can lengthen, I'm sorry. You can lengthen the uh, the carrier for the battery, which is a nice touch because a lot of companies do not do that. So here in the front, uh, we see that it does have your links here for the steering links and a pan hard bar mounted to the chassis. Um, like it says, uh, steering servo on the frame, just like a one-to-one -one real car. So you're not gonna have your steering servo mounted on top of the axles it's going to be in the frame it gives it more of that scale look which is a nice touch and this body looks really good man i really like that body all right so here we go this is what the drive line looks like you got the front axles rear axles or switch whatever and here is more of the transmission designed to look as a real one-to-one -one transmission um it does look nice though. So it's gonna have the motor right there in the front, the transmission and two speed gearbox there. Let's keep going. So 114 RPM in the front, 100 RPM in the rear. So that's your overdrive. And here we go. So no overdrive option. Uh, you get overdrive option one, which is stock and overdrive option two, 33 turn, 27 turn uh, for overdrive one, um, 32 turn, 28 turn, and no overdrives, 30 turn, 30 turn. That's, that's all you get. <laughs> um, and it tells you here, vehicle with overdrive, you get better steering radius, uh, better climbing, uh, two-speed transmission, like I just talked about you get your high and your low and what is this TTR system oh the torque twist reduced transmission so that in a stable position without pulling the balance of battery of power transmitted to the axle of the front and rear universal shafts based on the transmitter each rotates clockwise and counterclockwise so that's a nice feature with the transmission. So the front drive line is turning clockwise and the rear is turning counterclockwise. So basically here's the front, here's the rear. It's basically going like that to reduce the torque twist on the, uh, on the vehicle. That's a nice touch. Go for it, G made. Uh, again, it's double, uh, uh, dual, has a dual slipper clutch, uh, all metal gear internals. Um, hardened carbon steel universal joints, uh, GA44 axles, um, high sear knuckles, 
Adjustable caster. Whoa. Nice. Adjustable caster, hardened carbon steel CVAs, uh, metal diff locker, um, 45 degree turn. These are the shocks that is coming with the SD scalar shock absorber. So you got the O-ring there, you got O-rings down here, you got your piston extended all the way down. Um, do, 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 do. The vehicle is driven and provides a high durability aluminum shock body with 3.5 millimeter heavy duty shock shafts are added. This thing looks badass, man. I'm trying to find out if it brings a body or not, though. Wheel and tire. So you get 1.9 inch wheels, which those wheels look pretty damn good. And the tires are the MT1904 1.9, super soft compound, tire height of 121 millimeters, tire width 45 millimeters, inner diameter 48 millimeters, 1.9s. So here's what the tire looks like, the sidewall here and the uh, tread there. The wheels are actually B-locks. So you have a zero offset hex mount, 12 millimeter, diameter 48 millimeter, 1.9s, and a width of 22 millimeters. And here you go. This is how they get installed. You have the nuts on, I mean the bolts on the front, the nuts in the back uh, to, see, to squish them together, put them all together. This really is a nice rig, man. And this is where I wanted to get to. So, it does look like this chassis is going to bring a body. Um, to add realism details, it includes front grille, light bucket, side mirrors, wipers, door handles, over fenders. So it brings these over fenders. Um, and a roof rack and LED light bar. So you can tune into a realistic off-road vehicle to match as a concept of off-road adventure. The accessory parts are made of high strength plastic. Um, so yeah, the Buffalo body is an SUV style body made of high quality 1.5 millimeter Lexan with high strength and details. So yeah, it looks like that uh, this body is actually gonna be coming with this kit. So for the $349.99 that it's gonna be costing, um, I'm, it's pretty well worth it. It is really well worth it. Uh, so here you go. You got your uh, door cache, your side mirror, the roof rack with the LED, the wipers uh, right there to give it more that scale look, the side mirrors, the front grill, uh, front grill bumper. It looks like you might be able to attach to put a winch in there and the over fenders. Really nice touch. Uh, yeah, they're not messing around. Here you go, you get a heavy duty rear bumper in the back. Uh, again, the over fenders. Uh, this Buffalo body, really, if anybody knows, looks just like a Chevy K5. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Looks like a Chevy uh, Blazer, the older Blazer bodies. Um, I like it, I like it. LED light kit, and it says option parts. Um, Let's keep going here. So there you have it, guys. Um, there you go. You can see how the front bumper is mounted, how the rear bumper is mounted. And this thing looks sick. I'll tell you what. So specs, the way it sits with 240 millimeter, the height 269 millimeter. Uh, without the roof rack, uh, you're looking at 246 the length, uh, 540 millimeter, wheelbase 313, ground clearance 77 millimeters, um, weight 2.22 kilos with no electronics. Whatever electronics and motor you want to put in there, it's going to end up getting a little bit heavier for you. So here you go. You get a 53 degree angle um, departure angle in the rear and a 60 degree approach angle in the front, which is nice. Uh, you got a 77 millimeter ground clearance you see there. Um, 
What else? What else? What else? And there you go. That's pretty much it. So we basically just went through that whole page to see what this GMade TS kit is all about. Um, again, as you guys can see right here, it's made in Korea, but this looks like a kit that um, is going to be very well competition for the Axial and the G8, the Red Cat Gen 8, I mean, um, for $349.99 with everything that it brings. It does bring the body with the wheels, bead locks, um, all those scale looking parts for the body. $349.99 is very well worth it. Uh, the last thing I have for you guys today is Draxus. So if you are looking at upgrading your drag Traxxas, or if you have a slash, rear-wheel drive slash, that you want to convert to a drag car, well, Tamiya, I'm sorry, Traxxas is going to be releasing this bad boy. So this is the transmission that is currently out for the drag slash. They made this transmission specifically for the drag slash. And uh, <clears throat> it'll be available late September. You can order it now, but it's going to ship late September. So you can order it now. Once they have it in stock, they'll end up shipping it out to you. <clears throat> Once they have it in stock, they'll end up shipping it out to you. Or you can wait till they are available and they'll just ship it out to you. But I would highly recommend ordering it now for the fact that it's going to ship out late September because apparently this transmission is kind of bulletproof and it's a proven transmission and a lot of people are going to be ordering this transmission for their rigs. Um, like I said, you can upgrade your Bandit Rustler Stampede. I said Slash, uh, but your Bandit Rustler Stampede or Slash with the toughest transmission available from Traxxas. Again, the price is $139.99. Uh, I already went over this transmission uh, in my one video when I was talking about the um, the Drag Slash, when the Drag Slash was coming out. And uh, Traxxas was teasing us about the Drag Slash. So I went over this transmission already. This transmission is the I guess holy grail drag transmission available that is going to be available. Um, so for the drag slash, from what I have read and heard, this transmission is basically pretty damn good. Um, I don't think I've heard of anybody stripping any gears on this thing yet. Uh, for metal gears, I haven't heard anything like that. So this is an upgrade for any vehicle that Traxxas makes, or, or if you're trying to build something yourself and you need a transmission, you could go with this transmission. Uh, like I ended up building my Hummer. I'll put a link here, over here somewhere, uh, about my Hummer build. I could probably end up using this transmission and do and rebuild that transmission for it, but it's a crawler. This is a drag uh, transmission, so it wouldn't work. But if you're trying to build something, hey, you have another option here. Uh, Traxxas is going to be releasing the Magnum 270R2R transmission that you can use in any rig you want. So, guys and girls, uh, with that being said, thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe for more content. I'm trying to put out videos every week, uh, at least once a week. I'm trying to put out some videos, but you know, like gets in the way. Got to take care of some things uh, in life, so it doesn't always happen the way I want it to happen. But here we are. I'm making another video for you. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and stay tuned for more. Hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.